So today, folks, what I thought we would do is um, talk a little bit about uh, the type of learner you might think you are. Um, we've been spending some time in class talking about uh, how to prepare review sheets and how we can make ourselves ready for those times that we have tests or quizzes or whatever else. Um, so I thought one of the ways that we could do that was just think for a little bit about how we, how we learn, how we like to learn. So maybe where do you think you fit? What kind of learner do you think you are? Uh, there are basically four kinds of learners, um, or four types rather, they're not four kinds of learners, there's a lot of kinds of learners. Because um, the thing is, even with these four types, these four learning types, people still are a mishmash of one or two or three or more of the different kinds of learning styles. So, auditory learners, um, they are basically the ones who learn best while they are actively listening. Um, they find conventional study practices such as taking notes from the textbook, they don't find that very effective. Um, they like to listen to learn. Um, so maybe to consider whether or not you're an auditory learner, uh, you might tend to have uh, incredible memories for past conversations, like you can remember jokes and stuff. You might have a great memory for music and lyrics, you might enjoy discussions or debates, uh, talking to others, you might prefer to give oral reports rather than written ones. Um, you may have a slight difficulty in interpreting uh, graphs or maps or diagrams. Um, now if you are, if auditory is something that you like, um, there are some tips for how you might want to try to study for when you're preparing yourself, to yourself for tests. Um, you might want to ask questions, use some kind of an audio recording device. You might want to watch videos or use word association. Uh, you might want to repeat things aloud. Um, you might want to avoid auditory distractions. Um, and basically what that means is some people study well with music, some people like to have that that sort of noise going on. Um, auditory learners, because they like sounds and they like that kind of stuff, they tend to focus in on music, uh, particularly uh, intricate type stuff or stuff with, with lots of lyrics. Um, it becomes a little bit challenging to study while you're listening to music because you get distracted by the music. So the next kind of learner that we're going to talk about uh, are read-write learners. Now the read-write learners um, these are our traditional studiers, right? They are the ones um, where traditional schooling has aimed most of its attention. These are the ones, these are the people who, um, they read textbooks, they write notes, um, and they, then they study best by reading over these notes and copying them out. Uh, so, people who are read and write learners, they enjoy reading, they would rather be read, uh, they would rather read by themselves or to others than be read to. Um, they often take uh, exhaustive or even verbatim notes in class. They typically work best in quiet environments uh, and they prefer to study by themselves to avoid distractions. They also tend to like articulate teachers who put a lot of information into, se into sentences and notes and um, they probably won't hesitate to find a, dic a definition in, in a dictionary. They, they want to know stuff that way. So then some study skills, some tips and tricks if you're a read-write learner general kind of stuff. Take lots of notes, rewrite the notes, write them out again. Don't lose your handouts because they've got information on them. Make yourself bullet point lists. Uh, try to turn your diagrams and charts uh, into words. Um, simply because sometimes read-write learners don't particularly, uh, they don't interpret maps, graphs, charts particularly well, so they would have a better time turning them into, um, turning them into, uh, into words or more bullet point lists. The third kind of learner that we're going to talk about is uh, visual learners. Uh, and visual learners are those who learn best through what they see. They learn best when they are, uh, sorry, when they use uh, graphical ways to represent what they're studying. They prefer it when information is represented in diagrams and graphs. And then, um, so if you're a read, write, or sorry, if you're a visual learner, then these things probably apply to you. Things like the love of pictures and diagrams. You're good at maps. Um, you can get really great mental images, You're, you like really bright colors. Um, also along with that, you might have to think for a bit to process a speech or a lecture to try and turn it into, into words, or sorry, turn it into pictures in your mind. So some, some study tips then, uh, you should try to get good textbooks with diagrams and maps and stuff. You should try to watch videos. Use your highlighters because they're bright colors. Use your flashcards. 
try to replace words with symbols uh, or initials. And those are ways that you can um, tap into your sort of visualness. Uh, if you are a kinesthetic learner, these people are the natural doers. They learn best when they're physically active or through learning activities that involve an active participation. These are the people who are hands-on. They like to build models. Um, they are good at remembering things they've actually done before. They enjoy active learning at school, things like phys, phys ed, or they enjoy the hands-on science activities or opportunities where they can um, to you know, build stuff. They like adventure books and movies, uh, and they become fidgety when, when, uh, when they sit for a long period of time. You might know someone or some people like that in, in your class. Um, so study tips then for kinesthetic learners. Try to use flashcards. Study in short blocks of time. Um, use plenty of examples when writing study notes, uh, things that you can maybe do. Um, try to study with other people, and then try to do something while you study. So for example, if you're trying to you know, go over some notes, if you have like a stress ball or something like that, maybe try and give that a squeeze um, while you're studying or just try to keep your hands or something active. If you have an exercise ball, you can sit on that and try and maybe wiggle around a little bit, but try to do something while you study so that it can focus your attention on that in addition to looking at that stuff. And so uh, these are um, these are the slides. These are, these are the four different types, and as I said earlier, uh, it's quite possible that you are a combination of two or more of these things. Um, you probably have a way that probably most applies to you. Um, but again, understand that these are preferences and um, you can learn a new way. Um, but but uh, try to figure out where you sort of fall um, within these four different learning types. Uh, have a great day.